Okay, for those of you who don't know, this is Hunter. And Hunter is a Labrador Retriever boxer mix. Uh, her father was a about 150 pound black lab, and her mother was about 140 pound uh, boxer. And what we're planning on doing with this dog is raising it to be a survivalist dog. A, a you know this is it's a pet, of course, but it's also going to serve uh, a utilitarian purpose, and that is from one to help me with my limited mobility. I'm going to, you know, employ the dog for retrieval purposes. I'm going to teach her to retrieve. Uh, we're going to teach her, uh, hopefully, be able to harness a lot of her talents and be able to turn her into a grade A hunting dog. Uh, some of you might be thinking boxer hunting dog. No, no. And you'd almost be right. Um, but fortunately, Hunter is, uh, boxer, let me just back up and say, boxers are my least favorite breed of dog because, okay, one, very, very inbred. Uh, their skulls are the wrong shape to accommodate their brain size. So what happens is that their their skull clamps down on their brain as they get older, and uh, and plus they just they have lots of jaw problems. Uh, we we had a boxer a while back, uh, me and Jason, and um, she got into a fight with a German Shepherd, and the German Shepherd ripped her. Uh, ripped the end of her jaw off and it was just absolutely horrible and uh, the, the, those thin jaws like I said I tell people that you're gonna be happier with a mongrel of any kind than you are a purebred of just about any kind the only exception to that rule I'd say is uh, golden retrievers yellow labs black labs uh, you can trust those animals because they're good um, I've even seen German shepherds turn on their owners uh, just it, and, and trust me uh, a lot of people will be asking this question too. They say, "Oh, well, what do you know about dogs?" Well, my uncle was on the uh, Chicago K9 unit for uh, several decades, and we have been through, uh, and I have lived my life around, especially out in Nebraska, um, live my life around animals. So I do know how to train them for attacking, for hunting, uh, and purposes. My methods might not be quite where your methods at, um, and. Just forewarning you, I don't want to see any abusive comments in the comment section about how I train my dog and the methodologies I use because I have trained and raised a lot more dogs than you have. Um, I'm really doubting that there's many other people on YouTube who have lived around as many police attack dogs as I have. And uh, I never got bit once as a kid. Uh, we never had a turn on us or anything. So I believe the the way I've been tr taught to train an animal is sound. Uh, I just well, I don't believe I know it's sound, but um, it's you know just be forewarned. It's gonna get rough at times, and if you're not, if you have a dog that has no, you know, I mean, you, when you you know you teach it to sit and it sits right there and and doesn't ever give you any spirit, that's kind of that's not a dog you're looking for. Now this dog in particular. She is extremely well muscled. Um, that's that's only a three month old dog, by the way. Uh, she's gonna be an effing monster. And when I say monster, she's probably gonna top about. She's probably gonna top 130, 140 pounds. But uh, she doesn't even have. She still has all of her baby teeth, and uh, she's teething right now. That's what that bone is right there. But um, I've been working with her only one day, and let's see where we got. Hunter, come. Good girl, good girl, Hunter. Oh, good girl. Okay, sit. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Look at you. This will be such a good girl. Yes. Oh, that's a good doggy. Good doggy. Okay, you can go back to your bone if you want. Oh, you want to hang out with me? All right. We can do that. But uh, me and Hunter are going to be hanging out over the next week or so, and we're going to begin her basic obedience training. As you can see, it's coming along real nice. She's being a good girl. She being a good, good girl. Oh, yes. Good girl.